Do you think I do this to copy a video? What is going on guys, it's your boy Jacob here or Face Tico. We are back with a brand new video and as you guys know, two days ago, I uploaded a video that, uh, yeah, made me do this to myself. <laughs> yeah! Oh! I get to do whatever you want! Oh, this yes. is great! No! Again! <laughs> Later, Tico! Rug uploaded a video explaining his experience with Jake Paul. In that specific video, the same day I uploaded my video regarding the same thing, Rug showed text messages of Jake Paul texting Rug, telling him that he's copying his videos, copying his ideas and thumbnails and whatnot. And the video he was talking about specifically was this spinning wheel video that I, that same day Rug showed us text, I made that video. Rug uploaded his videos around two hours prior to me uploading my video. And therefore people thought I made my video because Rug made his video about Jake Paul giving Rug shit for his video. I don't know if that makes any sense. I had no clue that was a thing. I had no clue Jake Paul was so overly protective over his spinning wheel. I wasn't trying to steal some video. I wasn't trying to cause some drama. I wasn't trying to get involved in anything. I was just trying to get a fresh cut using a spinning wheel. I'm not trying to get involved in anything. I'm not gonna write a diss track. I'm not gonna be involved in this drama, but I wanted to defend myself because I don't want people to think that I would that I would copy Jake Paul's video to try and get involved in anything. Or I had that video idea for a while. I just took a little to get the spinning wheel and to have everyone involved in the videos. So there was absolutely no way I would be able to get a spinning wheel, record that video, edit that video, upload that video, and have it up within two hours after Rug uploaded it. Realistically, that is not possible, all right? So for that cause, obviously, I had no clue he was gonna upload it. I had no clue anything of that happened with the spinning wheel. I just got an idea because I was like, I need a haircut, I don't care about my haircut. Let's have some fun for a video, but let's do it differently this time and like actually get a random haircut for a video. So I bought this spinning wheel, I wrote down, you guys already know how I made a video and then as soon as it went up, I was like, oh boy, you got balls. Oh boy, Jake is coming for you. I was like, wait, what's going on? Like, why are people commenting this? And then I talked a little bit to Rug because Rug tweeted me, concerned, he was like, dude, be careful. I was like, what? Uh, Jake Paul is gonna hate on this because he's copying his shit. Be careful, you might be stealing Jake Paul's ideas. Uh, Jake Paul is gonna hate on this because he's copying. Hopefully Jake Paul doesn't tell you to stop copying him on thumbnails. Oh no, Tico, watch out. Jake Paul is going to DM you saying you copied him. Or another one where you go, be careful, you might be stealing Jake Paul's ideas. Or Jake Paul is coming for me. Stop copying Jake Paul with his spinning wheel stuff. Oh my god. I really feel like this whole video is taking shots at Jake Paul. I am now because I think it's stupid that certain types of videos, no one else can make them and you're trying to take credit for it as you were the first person to ever make them. I'm sorry to break it to you. You are killing it. You are extremely successful on YouTube. But if you think that that's how it works and you can go on and just message Rug and give him for something that you obviously did not create, I'm not saying copying on YouTube doesn't exist, but you can't say everything is copying just because people on YouTube make similar videos. That, that's like saying everyone, and I'm saying everyone, is copying Rice Gum. Jake, you're making diss tracks. I'm pretty sure Rice was the first person to make diss tracks in this matter as a YouTuber. That means you're copying Rice Gum. Sounds a lot like a hypocrite, if you ask me. Jake Paul spinning wheel. The first spinning wheel video he uploaded was five months ago, okay? Spinning wheel challenge. Um, wait. Seven months ago. Nine months ago. Fortunately, you weren't the first one. And even if you were, you can't really take credit like that. Like, they, it, just, it just doesn't really work like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break it to you, bro. I see all these comments of people being concerned about me. Like, oh my God, what are you doing? Jake Paul's gonna message you. Oh my God, he's gonna come for you. Oh my God, he's gonna this and he's gonna that. Guys, no, he's not. I'm not some Team 10 member or a girlfriend or ex-girlfriend that he can just treat like shit or run over or disrespect or assault or whatever. So no, it wouldn't happen. I'm not A, a girl, because that seems to be Jake's thing to disrespect or do dumb stuff like spitting and just in general, disrespect. That seems to be his thing. I'm not a Team 10 member, I'm a face member. I'm not just a contracted friend you got of yours that you can just randomly disrespect or randomly talk shit to. I actually can't believe how many spinning wheel challenges there are that have been uploaded like we're talking here's a couple from like a year ago jake who do you think you are you're killing it 
You're so successful. You are banging on YouTube. I will not take that away from you at all. But that doesn't mean you have the right to take credit and text my bro, Face Rug, and talk to him like he copied your video. Yes, he got the idea from me, but he recreated it. Like so many other people take that idea, but they make it their own and they make it their own way. That's what Rug did. He didn't do the spinning wheel as a kissing challenge, right? He used a spinning wheel, just like me. I didn't do it for kissing. I did it so I will never be able to kiss a girl ever again. I look like this now. I didn't copy your video. I didn't copy anyone's video. I had no clue you did it. I just got the idea. I want to get a haircut, you know, because it's fresh obviously. And I figured the best way of doing this to make it more interesting than me just sitting on camera getting a haircut, let's see and make it a little game. Who gets to cut it and how to get to cut it? I didn't ask for this and Rug definitely didn't either. Just because you're bigger than people and pull more views and are popping and this or that or whatever, it doesn't mean that you can control people or tell people what to do. You do you, I do me, we do us and that's it, all right? Imagine living in that house and it being so fake and you're under a contract and you're literally there because someone else is making money off of you. As I said, I'm not trying to get involved in any drama. I'm not gonna like continue doing this for views or anything. I'm not gonna like make a diss track. I'm not gonna hop in this trend at all. I literally just wanted to defend myself because I got a lot of comments and tweets and interactions in general about people being either concerned that he was gonna come for me or like, yo, why'd you do this? And for the main reason that Rug made his video, which, which was a similar one, and he got a lot of first. I wanted to explain myself that I actually didn't know anything of this went down or any of this happened or and that this was even a thing, right? I made a video because Yeah. I didn't think too much about it. Like James. What's up, bro? I heard you wanted a haircut. Yeah. I just shaved mine off. I fixed it. I fixed it. I told him, I was like, yo, I'll cut your hair. I'll shave the sides. Look at it, bro. Massive. Would you actually let me? Like, were you serious? I mean, I've had friends cut my hair before. So you would let me shave your sides? Yeah. Pretty James, much, is yeah. what you're saying. James. You should Man, totally look. let me. My hair, the problem is my hair's super thick. Bro, I got you though. <laughs> I got you, bro. Just like, bro, I'll me? just like shave the sides up here. I'll yeah. make a dope yeah. little line here. Bro, I can, got him. But the real question is, can you give him a fade? Yeah, can you give me a fade? Bro, I'll give you whatever you want. I need a want. fade, dude. I need a fade. <laughs> <laughs> I got you whatever you want. Look at my fresh cut, bro. And this is even after rain destroyed me. And I, you know, I fixed it. I got it. It's not kind of the fade I was looking for, but you know. Yeah, looking for, uh, I think, it, the actual fade. <laughs> Guys, I'm down for it, but I'm scared. Guys. Yo, honestly, I think that he would kill it. Personally. Thanks, Tommy. I got you. Seriously though, real question, how's your day going? Amazing, or did you ask them? Oh. You guys can ask us too. How, how is your day section. going, YouTube? Post a comment below. <laughs> let me know. Oh, nice. let, let us know. <laughs> Cheo, did you think I did a decent job? No, you actually did. Now you gotta line yourself up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that in a little. No, but seriously, James. Seriously? I would, and I, I wouldn't mess around. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't make it bad. I would make it the absolute best way I could. And it, I would shit, yeah. I actually feel like I would do a decent job. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> no, no, bro, no, seriously, seriously, seriously. Right, Either way, it's, it's pretty scary. It's scary. I understand. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's easy. Exactly. It's actually easy. You guys, comment below if you think I would do a great job cutting James' hair. That's all I really need go to know. Go and look at some pictures of me when my hair's like good. When my hair's good, it's good. Like I get back home. Like when your hair's been cut by me, it's gonna be good. I hope so. <laughs> I hope All right, so. bro, let me know, let me know. You need some socks. Ooh. You know I got you. Ooh, he hooking it up. Bro, look at all the blue you got on going right ah, now. That's perfect, the, the denim hat. Bro, the blue and the gray. Shirt. And then the blue and some gray in there too. Dude, he killed it for me. It's young taste. It was, it was <laughs> meant to happen, bro. The blue socks were meant to happen. You have a killer day with those blue socks. Thanks, bro. Of course. Bro, that keyboard is nasty. Thanks, man. Yeah, you just walked through and said, oh my god, that keyboard is It is nasty. It is an insane keyboard. I just have to change this because I, I don't know why it's like greenish. I was trying to go for the 2.0 color, obviously. But for some reason, it's like greenish rather than yellow. But I might change around the colors a little bit. You can literally have like any color you want, obviously. But man, I love the setup. I got the white headphones on too. You guys saw it in a video a couple of days ago, but only thing now I look a little bit crazy because you can see like a tan line because like I'm not as tan. 
up here because my hair is covered here before. By the way, here's like a little aftermath. I was literally just standing here myself and like trying to like cut and like the neck and stuff. So it was a little bit messy, but I did it. It looks all right. I'll let it grow out for like a week or two and then I hit a barber just to line it up a little bit. But anyways, guys, that has been it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, as always, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And once again, I didn't make this video to try and get involved in the drama. I just wanted to point something out because I don't think that's how things should work. The whole, I just don't think it's cool when someone takes someone like that, especially now Rug. You know, it's Face Clan. We actually back each other up. We are actually friends. It's not like, you know, contracted friendship or... Uh, just for the tubes, you know, we actually care about each other. Anyways, guys, that has been it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. I'll be back with a brand new video tomorrow. Thank you. I love you. Phase up.